Greetings guys and gals, and welcome back for part 8 of Let's Play Space Quest 1, The Serian Encounter. In the last part, we had invaded the Deltor, got a gun, grenade, defeated a guard, and found the star generator. We also set off a self-destruct sequence, which means we have 4 minutes and 50 seconds to get out of this place before it blows. Uh, and also, spoiler alert, this is the final part. So there. Anyway... Let me get my gun at the ready, because I know that there's going to be Syrians everywhere. Oh crap, there's one right there. Ha! One shot left, laughing boy. What is this? Is that a big chair I see? Hmm. Anyway, let's see. Do I go in here? I can't actually remember. <clears throat> Where'd he go? But luckily, I have plenty of time to figure it out. Oh yes, this is the right area. And we get the gun at the ready. Ah. Insert one liner here, I actually don't know. You can't handle the truth. <coughs> I'm gonna have one liner one liners to say. But anyway, now we're in an area we actually couldn't access before. because uh, that guard was there. Now that we have the gun and we have revealed ourselves as not to be Saren, we can access this area and if let's take a look around here. It must be the captain's personal escape pod. I like how they note that there's a captain on this ship, but we never actually see the captain in any form. But anyway, before I do this next part, I'm going to lower the speed a little bit, because there's a part that goes by pretty fast. But anyway, let's blow this joint. Let's make like a tree and get out of here. That's right. And we have points for that. That's no bright mantis. That's a space station. You know, I had actually been saving that line, and then I screwed up and forgot to say it in this Let's Play, so I was thinking, okay, maybe I could retool that line for Space Quest 2, and now I completely spoiled the future one-liner. Meh. Roger Wilco, we, the people of Xenon, extend our limitless appreciation and eternal gratitude of your acts of heroism, and see we're now on our home planet Xenon. Nice little place by the looks of it. Because of your bravery, the planet Xenon, and indeed the entire galaxy, has not been saved has been saved from domination by the evil, not to mention ugly Syrians. Has not been saved from domination. <laughs> Broke. Anyway, it is my honor to present you with the coveted Golden Mop, a symbol of pride and accomplishment to members of your esteemed profession. Alright, at least we're appreciated for our work. Something that actually doesn't come easily in this series, believe it or not. Henceforth, and for all time, you will be known as Hero of Xenon. Yeah, let's see if it's still like that by the next game. I kind of doubt it. I like the statue of the two guys from Andromeda over there. Whoa! This guy freaking spazzing out. Well, Roger, you did it. You saved the galaxy, received your professional most noble tribute, and got the girl. Wait a minute, there wasn't any girl. Sorry. Well, you got the mop, anyway. From now on, Xenon's your oyster, and all you have to do now is sit back and let the book and movie office roll in. Who knows, maybe they even have a series. And now, as the sun sets on the peaceful blue planet Xenon and Roger Wilco's first adventure, we hope you, you will remain in your seat long enough to let us express our limitless appreciation. And that's why I wanted to slow it down. The, those text boxes go by incredibly fast. But anyway, so that's the end of the game, actually, you know? I apologize for this part being like, pretty short, as I didn't realize when finishing part 7 that I was actually that close to the end, but otherwise I would have just put the ending into part 7. But anyway, let's look at Jennifer Schnotz there and all the other people that worked on this. J. Allen Friedman, Andy Hoyos, Morgan, Morris F. But anyway, what I was going to say was, you know, there was the statue of the two guys of Andromeda on Xenon that we just saw? The two guys from Andromeda is a name for the two guys that actually made this game, and the entire Space Quest series, actually. And it was, and, and 20 years ago, they stopped working on Space Quest games together. But now, just recently, it, it, uh, we found out that they actually am back, are back together, and they're going to make a new game, not a Space Quest game, because they don't have the rights to it yet. But they're working on another game, and by the looks of it, it looks like they're going to be pretty good. So yeah, you know, check them out. They have their own website, two guys from Andromeda.com, I think. If you have spare time, you know, maybe check that out. But anyway, uh, what else is there to say here? Oh yeah, I have one other little project coming up after Space Quest 1. It's um, a mini Let's Play. It's like only, It'll only be one or two videos, because it's like a little mini thing. Um, Mark Crow, that's one of the guys from that drama. 
but yes, I've, I've actually recorded it actually before doing this, and there's plenty of rage moments in there, so I'm sure you guys love seeing me get angry, right? Yeah, obviously you do, so apparently because uh, of how much happiness I got from my rage at the end of part 6. But anyway, thank you for playing Space Quest 1. As usual, you've been most entertaining, and we've actually beaten the game. So there you go, everyone. Thanks for watching Let's Play Space Quest 1, the Syrian Encounter. Join me next time when I do a little mini Let's Play, and then after that, join me for Space Quest 2, Volhall's Revenge. So yeah, thanks for watching for those, like, two or three viewers out there, and, uh, yeah, this is Hound Dog Snakes 108 signing off, so, um, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in a future Let's Play, so yeah, bye for now, everybody. Oh, by the way, that wasn't 100% completion, yes. Okay, anyway, now, bye-bye.